Hey everybody, my name is Deb, and I want to welcome you to another episode of Just for Deb's RV Transport Adventures. Greetings everyone from Hemet, California, H-E-M-E-T. I have just picked up a hook to my unit. I need to pull it out of the spot that it's sitting in so that I can do a complete walk around with the video. Some funky stuff going on with this unit. I'll tell you all about it in a second, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you never know what you're going to get when you hook up to these units. But I got to get out and show you guys. It's uh, my first California sunset in I don't know how long. And I've already missed the pretty part. But we got to see the rest of it. So I got to stop talking and get out. Oh, I forgot to mention. It is a 36 foot travel trailer. Um, I'm trying to figure out what species it is. I have no idea. We'll see what it is when we get out and look at it outside, but it's going to Avondale, Arizona. I picked that one myself, people. And th there it is, my sunset. I already missed most of it to where the the reds and everything, but that it's still pretty. And so, yeah, just wanted to show you that. Okay, on to the unit. We had some funky stuff happening today with this. The instructions said that there was a fuse and the keys to the unit in the bumper. The fuse, let me see if I can show you, right here. The, you put the fuse in and that powers the jack. And at first I was like, why won't this jack work? Why won't it work? And then I remembered the email about the fuse for the jack. So it's kind of important to read your instructions ahead of time. Everything else went good up until I went to hook up my breakaway cable. And I'm like, where's the breakaway cable? There was no breakaway cable. And then I went to look. Uh, as you can see, there's there's other units here on the yard. I went to look. None of them have breakaway cables either. And I'm like, what's going on? And I'm thinking, are they ha uh, being hidden on the unit somewhere? And then I remembered when I went to get the keys, when I found the keys, because they were in a different spot than normal, they, uh, the breakaway cable was wrapped around the keys. And I'm like, oh, thank goodness. Because I have not gotten myself a uh, breakaway cable for um, emergencies, for like when I pick up a unit and there isn't one. As you can see, every light in the house is on, which will be great for filming. But I'll hit the main battery cutoff switch and shut everything off when I get ready to pull out. The lug nuts were... Uh, are torqued where they needed to be and the air pressure was where it was supposed to be. I removed the end caps from the bumper and the spare tire cover. I'm leaving the cover on the grill because that thing's on there something like something crazy. So I figure it's not going to blow off. And uh, I'll open it. I left the back door locked because the only thing that's inside the door is the bathroom. And we may be able to see it from inside, but I was not going to mess with trying to get that bathroom or that door open and leave it open and then relock it. So uh, let's take a look inside, eh? 
and of course the cover for the propane tanks I've already placed inside and inside that I've got the end caps for the bumper and the spare tire cover inside it. The cutoff switch for the battery did the trick. It shut off all the lights. I'm going to grab the keys, lock the unit up, and do my yard exit. And so it's a short trip over to Arizona, but at least I'll be warm. Well, folks, even though I had the hours to make it to Avondale, Arizona tonight, I don't have the physical strength. I don't know. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm in Coachella, California. Found a nice a spot in a at a TA truck stop way out of the way in the corner of the lot so uh, we're just gonna I'm just gonna pull over and chill I think I'm about three hours from there I think but anyway I'm like yeah I, I don't I don't want to push I'm tired and there ain't no point in getting there early because they don't even they're on what central T mountain time you know what I forget what time zone they're on but um, I decided we'll just take care of it in the morning so off to bed I go all right hey everybody this next bit of information is information you're going to need if you're going to be traveling I stopped at the port of entry in Eden Edinburgh Arizona so I could buy my permit, so that I could travel on into Avondale, Arizona. It's not Avondale, I found out. It's Avondale. There are two drivers in line in front of me. One of the drivers did not have a truck registration. And whoever was on the other end of the phone line that he was talking to was not able to send a registration to his phone. And the DOT officer shut him down he's not allowed to move until he gets a registration she says you can't be traveling on these interstate roads without a registration shut him down note to self make sure your paperwork is up to date make sure you've got your registration of course obviously you should have your registration and your proof of insurance anyway and this driver did not have registration and they shut him down and he's still sitting here Probably until they figure out a way to get him a registration. I've never been shut down at a port of entry. Thank goodness. So anyway. Little Chloe Beans. She's mooching. She's not mooching. She wants water. I'll get her her water dish. So, um. I am set. Here you go, baby girl. I'm set and ready to go. Got my permit. Gonna deliver. So, yay for me. Okay, now I've got both hands full. One, one hand is holding a water dish and the other one's holding the phone. So, do I keep talking or do I just edit this video and 
And and stop it at a certain point so you don't have to see all this other stuff. Yes. Sail back there. Hers Herbie wanting some water too. Yes, ma'am. Hold on. All right. Oh, by the way, this water dish, best invention ever. It is 99% spill proof. It doesn't spill. 99% spill proof. Here you go, baby girl. I'll set that back there for her. Alrighty, guys. Anyway, I'm on my way. Oh, I love this warm weather. I don't care how much bonuses they're giving you. Given at Horizon right now, you cannot talk me into going up north. Mm -mm. I love my I love my warm weather. <laughs> uh, all right, catch you on down the road. Well, everybody, greetings from Avondale, Arizona. I have just unhooked and delivered the load, and good to go. So I'm already working on the paperwork for my next load, getting it all printed out. I'm running another load off the reload board. I'm gonna be heading up into Illinois. I'm gonna uh, deadhead up to Illinois and pick myself up a load that's heading south. So yay! It'll be cold up in Illinois, but down south it'll be warm. Yay! So uh, we're gonna get us a bite to eat. I don't know where yet. Yes, I delivered at Camping World. They're pretty cool down here in Avondale. I would do this a lot in the winter. I don't think I could handle the heat in the summer. I like warm, but mm. anywho. Alrighty, guys. Yet another successful delivery. So, at this point, all I got to say is thank you. Thank you for watching. And uh, I've had a lot of people come on the, the journey with me, you know, uh, virtually and, and, and stuff like that. And that's been really cool. I love being able to share that kind of stuff. So thank you very much. it will be super awesome if you subscribe if you haven't already. Click the like button. Share. Ring the bell. And as always, I do welcome comments. And just remember, guys. It's all about the perspective.